Hello guys and welcome, I'm back with another review and I finally got this guy, he arrived the other day and I've got to say, what a cool figure. Um, glider, we'll go over that, I mean it's a bit naff, but the actual figure itself, brilliant. <clears throat> um, we'll go over what it comes with and then we'll go over the actual figure uh, with the articulation and stuff like that. So, in the box, he comes with the Norman Osborne head, glasses, and the hood, and it all comes kind of in one thing, in the box like that. Um, comes with the old pumpkin grenade. Um, <coughs> once he's in, once it's in his hand, it's very hard to get it back out, which is a good thing, I guess, because the other Green Goblins um, don't hold the grenades very well. So, I mean, he holds it too well. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is what he comes with. We'll go over the glider. Now, it comes with a stand that isn't very good. Um, so you've got three different kind of ways you can have it. So like short, medium or tall. None of these fit in the bottom here very well. I had to heat them up um, to actually be able to fit them in. And be careful when you're pushing it in, it is very, very flimsy. So when you go to push it in, make sure you hold up here not here because if you hold up down here it just bends so just hold it up there and push it in but it doesn't it doesn't fit in very well and it does take some heating up um, to actually try and get the glider to fit on there properly so these uh, foot holders come off they come separate in the box so you place them on they have actually got um, right and left written on them um, but that makes no difference because they don't stay on very well anyway um, so once they're pushed on <coughs> they're on then he can then fit in that's what he's supposed to do anyway fit in and then um, not stand on it very well because the minute you get him in on here it'll pop off and that side will pop off it's just yeah but i mean overall the glider is pretty good bends um you got could have done with some paint on here but overall it's a pretty beefy glider as well so um just be aware of that when he's on your um shelf he is pretty beefy right let's go on to the actual figure itself right so on to the figure itself so he is actually quite a tall figure um he stands, so I've got, what's his face? Um, Toby McGuire Spider-Man. And it's quite a height difference between them. So he's quite tall. Um, so he sta he's about six inches. Um, so just over six inches. Um, so, articulation. Head goes all the way around. He's on a ball joint. It looks down that far. So not that far and then up that far. Now, the only thing that bothers me with this figure is this here. I mean, I can't remember on the film whether it the, the neck bit went all the way up into the helmet, I'm not sure. If it didn't, then fine, it's good. But um, I can't quite remember. So, um, it does look a bit strange that you can see his skin underneath. Um, but that's about it for the actual figure that's bad. Um, articulation wise, so arms go up that high, so pretty good. They go back that far, forward that far, and down that far. He hasn't got butterfly joints, but he's got a good movement. So he's got upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and a wrist swivel and a hinge as well. 
he's got similar joints to some of the GI Joes uh, and Power Rangers, where their legs uh, and arms kind of pop down and out to give you more articulation, so that's pretty good. Um, crunch, not that good. Back, that far. Legs, go out that far, which is good for when you're trying to get them on the glider. Um, and as you can see, they pop down and out and then pop back up as well. He's got upper thigh rotation, double jointed knees, which is another good thing for the glider. And he's got a rocker and a pivot on the ankle. So looks of the figure, I mean, he looks great. I mean, you can see on the lighting how shiny that kind of armor is and how well it gives off the light. Really, really well done. Um, paint details, brilliant. I mean, this is easily, easily one of the best Hasbro figures this year. I would happily say that. This year, one of the best ones. Um, so we'll put him next to Spider-Man. So easily one of the best ones. Now I've got both of them, I'm really happy with that. Um, Articulation wise, brilliant. Looks brilliant. Only flaw is the glider. I mean, and that's the same flaw on most of the Green Goblin figures anyway. Um, the only good, the main good thing though about this glider is that it's got the um, pegs for the feet. But yeah, other than that, absolutely brilliant. Um, no flaws, even the head sculpt for Norman Osborn's brilliant. Um, yeah, so there's a glider as well. So, hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.